<laughs> Man, is Baldur's Gate the game of the year? Or the game of the decade, some say. I don't know yet, I need to play it. But I was basically forced to get this game because the hype is off the chart, okay? So I need to play it more to give you the answer. I will definitely cover this game a little bit more. But for today, I can give you the HDR settings. Take a look at this. Before, after. Before, after. So I'm gonna share with you the reshade settings and all you have to do is to copy this reshade preset dot inei on your games installation folder after you install reshade and you download this new lilium hdr shaders link in the description of the video with a full guide of how to do that and link in the description of the video to my google drive folder where i am going to be uploading all my hdr settings all the hdr settings for the games that i try that i test and that I play. Or you can just copy the settings. I'm going to give you two recommendations here. So you have two options. One option is for OLED Motion Pros. If you have one of these LG OLEDs and you want to play this game with black from insertion to improve the motion clarity, I am going to recommend you to use this Enable Black Floor Lowering Setting because with this option, I'm gonna show you the difference we don't change the visibility of the game too much. We are only making sure that we get zero blacks. We get perfect blacks. So take a look at this. Before, you see 0 0.0227. After, zero. So we want to get zero blacks so we have infinite contrast. So with this option, you don't see the difference in most scenes. I mean, I can see the difference because I know what I'm looking for. My camera is definitely not going to capture the small difference that I see here in front of me, maybe a little bit, but yeah, this definitely makes a difference and I highly recommend it. So I would use this setting for OLED Motion Pro because when I use this feature, OLED Motion Pro High on my LG C1, the brightness goes down. So I want to get the picture as bright as possible but i still want to have perfect black so when i use this feature boom it looks fantastic okay it looks very very good especially in motion so those are the two options i'm going to share with you and this is very simple i mean you don't even need to download this reshade file although it is easier but it's just so simple all you have to do is use this lilium's HDR black floor fix shader come here where it says Enable SDR black floor emulation you click here boom and you max out this white point to 250 done <laughs> Done that fixes the contrast that gives you the deepest blacks and that also increases the color saturation Take a look at this BT 709 91% DCI P3 3% BT2020 4%. So what that means is that 4% of what's on screen right now belongs to the BT2020 color space. But look at this. Before, it's like nothing. No BT2020. <laughs> okay. After, you get more color saturation. So you get that increased color saturation with this option, enable SDR black floor emulation. That's why I recommend you this for native HDR. And if you use this enable black floor lowering, you almost don't get any difference on the color saturation. A very minor uh, difference. And of course, you are going to adjust the max seal L depending on your display. Okay, if you have an LG C1, you want to use HGIG, you adjust that to uh, 800. And if you want to use Other Motion Pro, you want to use dynamic tone mapping. What I recommend you is to max out the in-game brightness which is like 4000 nits and then use dynamic tone mapping on on the tv with 4000 nits target which is the default target you don't need to access to this secret menu uh to change that but if you've access to this secret menu before to change the tone mapping just make sure that you have 4000 here 
and this is to prevent double tone mapping. So you select Mastering Pick Max LL, 4000 dynamic tone mapping with OLED Motion Pro High or OLED Motion. Uh, if you have a different uh, LG OLED that only supports that at 60, and that's it, you're good to go. And this is to prevent double tone mapping because you don't want to reduce the in game slider. Uh, that is the game doing tone mapping and then on top of that doing tone mapping with your TV. That doesn't give you the best results because when you reduce the in-game slider there are some compromises on the highlights maybe. It's depending on the tone mapping that the game is using. If it's using a dice method which is cutting the highlights or if it's just lowering the, you know, lowering the brightness to, to preserve the highlight details which I don't think that's what's happening. So I would need to analyze it even more, but it it doesn't really matter that much. Just keep the, the in-game slider max out and use dynamic tone mapping on the TV so the TV does the tone mapping for all the motion pro. And if you want to use HGIG, just lower the in-game pick brightness slider to use HGIG. Also use this HDR analysis tool to get the max CLL that you want to make sure that you're getting that. Okay, and of course, we need to play more the game just to find a better example of a highlight, just to make sure that we are getting the max CLL that the game is setting on the calibration screen. Although you can do this, let me show you. You're gonna access the calibration screen on the game, and then put your mouse, let me show you. You can do this, HDR calibration. You can put the mouse on top of the symbol. And the mouse on top of the symbol tells you cursor CLL 842, for example. So I set this for enable black SDR black floor emulation. So when you use this enable SDR black floor emulation, you're affecting the max CLL. So now with this enable black floor emulation, when I step the cursor on the symbol, I see Cursor CLL 798. So that's what I want for HGIG for native HDR. Okay, so you need to step the cursor on the symbol. Otherwise, this max CLL is, this is just the test pattern. This is how you get this test pattern to clip, to show clipping. Or just use your eyes and use HGIG on your TV. Use your eyes and see, uh, increase this until the, the logo is barely visible as they are explaining you here that's it that's all you have to do very simple to set up the max CLL if you want to test this yourself make sure that you remove the HUD okay I was playing with a controller I didn't know how to remove the HUD because I still don't know how to remove the HUD with a controller but with a keyboard you press F10 and you see you can remove the HUD and this is very important because the HUD is an outlier you see, the black level of the HUD is lower than the black level of the game. Okay, this happens on Diablo 4 too, for some reason. The game doesn't have perfect blacks, but the HUD does have perfect blacks. So that's an outlier. So that tells you the that doesn't tell you the whole truth of what's going on here, you see? So you need to remove the HUD to do the testing uh, to see exactly what's going on with the picture quality of the game. So that's it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions, this is very, very simple. Let me increase the size of this. If you just want to see it, increase the size. This is all you have to do. Download the latest, the latest version of Reshade. Download the Lilium HDR shaders. Enable this Lilium's HDR Black Floor Fix shader. For native HDR, enable SDR black floor emulation. Increase this white point to 250. You can reduce it a little bit more if you want more visibility uh, near black. So you can use a combination of both if you want. You can reduce this and then use this at the same time to just make sure you get perfect black. So you can, you can have less contrast on the game if you want by reducing this let's say to the default 80 for example this is going to give you a nice bump on the colors you're gonna get a little bit more color saturation you're gonna get a 
more contrast but you still don't have perfect blacks then what you can do is combine both so you can use a little bit of this and a little bit of enable black floor lowering they can work at the same time okay so you increase this old black point at the same time if you want to tweak the experience to your own liking uh, so you can try that enable sdr black floor emulation my recommendation is just max that out or you can try this enable black floor lowering only for OLED Motion Pro. And then the old black point number is 0 0.0238730. Okay, so how do I figure out this number? Very simple. Here's my, here's my process. I don't want to delete it so I don't mess it up, but here's the process. I start by increasing zero point so for example i start by looking at the minimum cll for example right now the minimum cll is 0 0.02 so that gives me a good starting point so then what i do is i try okay let me try 0 0.02 that's what i need to to crush and when i try 0 0.02 this minimum cll is reduced but i still have trace blacks and then i try 0 0.02 1 0 0.02 3 2 0 0.02 3 0 0.024 so when I try 0 0.024 I get perfect blacks okay so then what I do is I go back to 0 0.023 and then I start trying 0 0.023 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then I get perfect blacks with 0 0.0239 because I get perfect blacks with that then I set it to 8 instead so I go back 1 0 0.0238 and then I start trying 0 0.0238 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so when I have 0 0.0238 I have perfect black so then I go back to 7 <laughs> okay and then I go to the next number you understand the process so in that way I have the most precise number so I have the minimum number possible here to get perfect blacks okay that's it so i don't crush any details so i get this absolutely perfect showing me all the details for, but for that testing make sure that the hud is turned off so you don't get that outlier f10 to turn off the hud so yeah if you just want to get this working download the reshade preset link in the description of the video on that folder you're also going to find all the games that i have fixed uh, so far so that is a work in progress you can always go back and you're gonna find more games in the future you know like let's say a month from now you're gonna definitely see more games there with the hdr fix that you can try so let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions i will play the game actually i like the 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 cutscene at the beginning uh i mean the quality of the cutscene was horrendous they shouldn't have videos as cutscenes because the game looks better than the videos the videos are low bit rate sdr black level race videos it, they look horrendous okay it's just very bad uh so i hope that the game is not full of video cutscenes because the quality is, is very poor and I, it is understandable <laughs> i mean i downloaded a movie like avatar and it, 70 something gigabytes and it looked horrendous it looked terrible so yeah in-game engine is much better so that video was very poor quality but the story what happened there was like wow <laughs> this reminds me to it gave me like matrix one vibes for some reason and i like that a lot actually so even when i i don't think it is a great idea this kind of gameplays gameplay which is basically turn based i i don't find that very attractive or attractive at all but if the game looks good and it does so far this looks very good and it performs well and so far it does but this is not a very demanding area i reckon so if it performs where it will it looks good it has a great story i'm just gonna play it in easy mode 
and maybe enjoy a good story and maybe I will learn, learn to like it. So I will give you my take on the game after I play it for a moment. And yeah, if I have anything else to share with you about the game, I will let you know. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions.